Hey guys, History Behind the Warrior, and today we're going to be talking about Kano, pre-Mortal Kombat. Kano is a mercenary and leader of the Black Dragon organization. Kano makes his first chronological appearance in Mortal Kombat Special Forces. In the spin-off game, Kano releases his fellow Black Dragons from the US Special Forces security facility. Kano would then pursue after an artifact called the Eye of Chinesian, a weapon that could grant him incredible power. Unfortunately for Kano, after finding the artifact he would be confronted by Major Jackson Briggs. The two would fight with Kano being defeated by Jax. After this, Jax would use the eye to transport to Earthrealm and proceed to bring Kano into custody. However, the arms dealer was able to escape soon after. Mortal Kombat Kano would enter the Mortal Kombat tournament after hearing rumours that Shang Tsung's palace was filled with gold and old riches. At this moment, the Black Dragon was now the primary target of the US Special Forces and would remain so for a number of years. Whilst participating in the tournament, he would be pursued by Lieutenant Sonya Blade, who held a personal grudge against Kano because he had killed her previous partner. At some point during the Mortal Kombat tournament, Sonya was able to defeat Kano. After the final fight between Shang Tsung and Liu Kang, Kano teamed up with Sonya and Johnny Cage to fight Goro. During the final battle, the island began to crumble, and before Kano and Sonya knew it, they were in Outworld, in which they were then found and captured by Shang Tsung. Mortal Kombat 2 During the events of Mortal Kombat 2, Kano and Sonya spent the duration of the tournament chained up on display in Shao Kahn's arena. Eventually, they are freed by Jackson Briggs, who takes advantage of this opportunity by arresting Kano. As they are in the process of travelling back to Earthrealm through a portal, Kano escapes and runs back into Outworld. Mortal Kombat Trilogy During the events of Mortal Kombat 3, Kano was convincing Shao Kahn to accept him as a weapons instructor for his armies. At some point during the Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Kano is tossed off the top of a high building and is presumed dead. But in fact, he is found by Mataro, who heals him and imprisons him. After Mataro was killed by Shiva, Kano is freed. The two then hatched a plan to kill Shao Kahn, but at the decisive moments where Shiva was going to kill Shao Kahn, Kano betrayed her. This in turn would promote Kano to general of Shao Kahn's army. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance After Shao Kahn's forces were defeated, Earthrealm and Edenia were free. After Kano had a brief confrontation with Princess Kitana and the Shokan army, he returned to Shao Kahn's palace, only to see the Emperor be struck down by Shang Tsung and Quan Chi. After Shao Kahn's death, Kano declared his allegiance to the Deadly Alliance. During the time Kano worked for the Deadly Alliance, he had enslaved a small village. The reason they did this is to create a temple over Onaga's tomb to create a Solnado, and at some point during its construction, Kano would be personally assaulted by Li Mei. After the temple's construction, the Deadly Alliance had gone behind Kano's back and made a deal with the Red Dragon member known as Movado. The deal was, if he could eliminate the blind swordsman Ken Shi, then he would have an opportunity to be at their side and replace Kano. Movado had attacked and left Ken Shi for dead, earning his battle against Kano. Mortal Kombat Armageddon In Mortal Kombat Armageddon, we find out that Kano was indeed defeated by Movado. Kano appears in the conquest mode, and is found by Taven to have been held prisoner by the Red Dragon Clan for quite some time. Before escaping the facility, Kano explains to Taven that the Red Dragons have been experimenting on him, and explains that they captured many members of the Black Dragon Clan in order to engineer and create some human-dragon hybrid. Kano mentions that they were trying something new on him, although he leaves before he can explain what it is. Kano is later seen during the Battle of Armageddon, climbing the Pyramid of Argus. Whilst climbing the tower, he takes down Stryker and stabs Bo Rai Cho before falling down. As we come to the conclusion of the Battle of Armageddon, Kano and many of the other combatants are killed. Now we can hop over to the reboot of Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 9 In Mortal Kombat 9, Kano's history is slightly altered. We learn that Kano used to be an informant for the Special Forces, but he betrayed them, and many of the SF forces were killed. Kano is seen at the first Mortal Kombat tournament. He appears for the first time after Johnny Cage has defeated Sonya Blade in which he ambushes the actor from behind and throws him off the bridge. Kano begins slowly torturing Sonya, however Johnny was able to grab on the edge of the bridge and leaps back up onto the platform to face Kano. Kano loses the battle and disappears. Kano resurfaces when Sonya frees Jax from Goro's lair. Sonya fights Kano and defeats him, but as she tries to arrest him, 
Shang Tsung stops her and takes Kano away. Kano is later seen during the Mortal Kombat 2 section of the game, where he is attempting to sell weapons to Shang Tsung. The two of them are interrupted by the Lin Kuei ninja Smoke and are both defeated by him. Kano appears during the Earthrealm invasion after Cabal was severely burned by Kentaro. Kano takes Cabal back to Outworld and creates a respirator for him. As Cabal awakens, Kano attempts to sway him to the Black Dragons, but Cabal berates Kano for selling the Outworld warriors their firepower. The two of them then battle each other, with Cabal defeating Kano. Cabal then forces Kano to take him to a portal so he can go back to Earthrealm. After doing this, Cabal then knocks Kano out. After regaining consciousness, he goes to the bell tower with Goro and Kintaro and watches over the POWs whilst waiting for Cyber Sub-Zero. Unaware of Cyber Sub-Zero's reprogramming, Kano is frozen. Mortal Kombat comic. After infiltrating a Red Dragon temple in China, Kano lies in wait for Sub-Zero. When Sub-Zero appears, Kano ambushes him, knocking him over and carving a long scar over his eye. Kano warns him that the dagger is cursed, however Kano claims that Raiden has lied to him and prepares to tell him the true secret of the Kami Dogu. When Sub-Zero escapes Kano's hold, he kneels over in pain and Kano reveals to him the Kami Dogu's secret, that those cut by the blade will become possessed and only death can release them. Sub-Zero refuses to die again and freezes Kano's optic implant, tearing it out. Kano curses the ninja and then flees. Kano is later seen working in conjunction with Eren Black to capture Cassie Cage and Jackie Briggs. As the two are escorting the girls, they are suddenly attacked by Movado and the Red Dragons. The Black Dragons and the Red Dragons then battle each other, with Kano gaining the upper hand on Movado. As Kano prepares to kill Movado with his eye beam, his optic implant is shot by one of the Red Dragon soldiers, damaging it. Tired of fighting, Kano flees, leaving Eren Black, Jackie Briggs and Cassie Cage to deal with the Red Dragons. Kano returns some time later, bringing with him Jarek, Tarsia and Tremor to Zunkara. Kano then aligns himself with Kotal Khan during the Battle of Zunkara against Kintaro's forces, in which he brings WMDs. After Kintaro's defeat, Kano asks Kotal Khan for payment. Kotal refuses to pay him and instead imprisons the arms dealer. Mortal Kombat X Before the main events of the story mode in Mortal Kombat X, Kano has somehow managed to escape and steal Shinnok's amulet. The Black Dragon mercenary would then sell the amulet to Melina to be used as a weapon against the usurper Kotal Khan. He first appears in the story alongside Kotal Khan and the Fora when they are attempting to strike a deal with finding out Melina's location. Unknown to Kotal Khan, Kano has already been hired by Melina to eliminate him. Whilst the carriage is being attacked by Melina's Tarkatan hordes, Kano engages Kotal Khan. Kotal Khan manages to gain the upper hand and nearly kills Kano until he is blasted away by Tanya. Kano is also mentioned by Li Mei as thousands of outworld refugees come across the Earthrealm, seeking asylum from the war. Sonya later spots him amongst the refugees, camouflaging himself. After being confronted by Sonya and Kenshi, Kano reveals himself. Kano then offers information in exchange for his freedom, however Sonya refuses to negotiate and attacks him. When Kano is defeated, he is nearly strangled to death by Sonya Blade. Kano begs for his life but this only aggravates Sonya more as she nearly kills him until Johnny stops her. Sonya complies and demands the information out of Kano, which he agrees to. And this is the last we see of Kano, we can only assume he's been taken into custody for his crimes, but if there's one thing we've learned from this, is that you can't keep a good merc down, and we will probably see Kano in the next game. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this, I put this out a few days later because I just did not have the time to finish this, so I guess better late than never, and plus you'll be getting another episode anyway this Saturday, which reminds me, here's the preview for Saturday's episode. So Sonya Blade was one of the highest requested female characters I've ever had on this page, so we're going to cover her next and understand her origin and where she came from. Anyway guys, please comment, like, subscribe and share this video and I'll see you guys next time.